Hey guys, welcome back. This is my 34 week video vlog update for my pregnancy. Um, it is super, super hard to try to find time to do these videos anymore because I only have, um, if I go to my due date, six weeks left. So that really freaks me out. So I've been like super, super, super busy. And then last week was my baby shower. I still need to put the footage up. I didn't get that much footage because that was really hard and busy for me to do as well. But um, I will put some up. I just got maybe a couple minutes because it was like, to me, my baby shower just went by so fast. But of course to everyone else it was like most likely dragging. Um, but... I mean, everything turned out really good. I was super, super nervous up until it happened. And once it happened and it was over, I was so relieved. Um, we got lots and lots of great gifts from everybody. We were so grateful and happy and excited that people are so excited for the baby as well. It turned out beautiful. My friend, uh, my best, best friend, she basically took care of everything. Um... Everybody was mostly outside on the deck, so it was great since my husband finished the deck. And um, she did um, mostly, like, it was, like, stars. So the theme was, like, silver with stars or gray. And it was just beautiful. The games were really easy and simple. We ended up just doing, like, sandwiches for food, which is kind of ironic because I can't have deli meat and my husband can't have bread. <laughs> so, but since it was held at our house... Um, I just had a cheese sandwich, and then my husband actually, um, we had some gluten-free bread here, so, like, um, I made him, like, a little sandwich with his bread, so that's, like, one bonus of having it here. Um, it was, like, a lot to prepare for. We had to do a lot of cleaning, um, and my battery's about to die because I just used this for the baby shower, so let me go change batteries. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Sorry for the delay. Um, I'm back. So baby shower, everything was like way better than I imagined. I stressed out for nothing. Um, you know, that's how it always is. I always get really stressed out before anything social or parties or anything, especially held at my house. I'm not very um, good with people at my house, but it turned out great. And yeah, it was everything I could ever hope for. She did such a great job. And... Um, I will treasure it forever. I am going tomorrow to another baby shower. This one is less baby shower though and more like just a family get together with um, some food. No decorations or anything like that. Um, but my family lives about two hours away. So it's going to be a busy day for me tomorrow too. I have to drive there and back because I have work the next day. Um, so it's like four hours travel time. So that's the reason why I ha ended up having separate baby showers is because um, a lot of my family is so far away. It would just be easier to have it there for them and then for like my friends and neighbors here. So um, I feel super, super spoiled. Um, but this will most likely be our one and only child. So that's okay to spoil him. <laughs> so anyway, as far as like my symptoms and stuff goes this week, last week everything was pretty good. This week definitely I can feel a change. Um, I'm way more out of breath, and work is very, very, very tiresome, and it's very hard to work. And I don't know how I can do another six weeks. Every time my day's off, like, up here, I'm so excited, because it's just really, really hard at work right now. My feet are super, super swollen, like, way more than they ever have been. I still can't wear my wedding ring or anything like that. I have been soaking them in Epsom salt. I have been trying to keep them up when I'm home, but when I'm at work, it's like, you know, it's impossible. And then when I come home, I have so much that I feel like I need to do <coughs> that, um, yeah, that I end up doing a whole bunch of stuff instead, and then, like, it makes it worse, and then I'm tired even more. So anyway, there's that. I have had, like, one... Braxton Hicks contraction I think this week and that was it that I felt anyway and then I don't even think I had any last week maybe one so those have gone down a lot um let's see I'm the heartburn is in full force this week last week I think it kind of calmed down but now I've been getting it early in the morning too before it didn't happen until like maybe two or three o'clock or something now it happens like nine o'clock so at work I'm like shoving these things in my mouth and I can only have four so like that's been really hard 
Um, my feet hurt really bad. My back start is starting to hurt a little bit. I need to get back onto my yoga and hiking because of the baby shower last week. I think I only went once walking or hiking, maybe. I don't even remember. And then this week I haven't, so I'm going to try to go tonight. Um, and then the yoga, I totally, I don't think I've done that in a week and a half. And that's like horrible because like my back is starting to hurt. So I really, really, really need to get back into that. But it's so hard. I feel like I have so much to do. That's like the last thing on my mind, but it's important and I need to make time for it. Um, and also I have increased CM gross, but like even more than usual, it's just blah. It's gross. So I did go see my OB yesterday. Baby is approximately the size of a melon, um, approximately five pounds according to the apps. And my weight gain is, well right now, or yesterday, I was 142 pounds, so that's a total weight gain of, um, not, not 100, whew, of 34 pounds. So two weeks ago when I saw him, I was like 138.8, so like, I gained like quite a bit, like three, more than three pounds this for just in two weeks. Um, I have noticed I've been eating a little bit more than usual too. Um, I don't know if he's just going through a little growth spurt or what, but I have been eating a little bit more than normal. Usually, I'm not really that hungry and I feel like my stomach's too small and then I have the heartburn so I don't want to eat. But lately I have been snacking more, like, they have gluten-free Cheerios right now and like those, I have to stay away from, I like get a handful of those. Anyway, that's a whole other story. So, cravings and stuff, I actually have something to report on this time. Um, I have been craving, like, salsa. And peanut butter not together but um, I've been eating like when I get home from work I'll have like chips with salsa or like I'll put salsa on my eggs now like and it's red salsa and typically I prefer green um, so it's very different something I usually don't like but like I find myself thinking about it on my way home from work I'm like for dinner I just want eggs and salsa like and so I'll just have eggs and salsa for dinner just weird like that and then as far as the peanut butter goes I just like this morning I had waffles with peanut butter and any excuse I can have to have peanut butter I just want peanut butter like um, toast and stuff I just it's been good so that's been kinda cool I actually have something that I'm craving um, so when I went to the OB I kind of convinced him because um, I asked him you know like what position the baby's in because I kind of felt like he had been um, head down for a while but I wanted to be sure and I read that they could tell just by looking or feeling, so I asked him, and he's like, oh, we don't really know, but at your next appointment, we're going to do an ultrasound. And I was like, oh, okay, I just figured he might be because I've been feeling a lot of pressure down there, yada, yada, yada. And since I was already in, like, the little quick ultrasound room, he, um, after he listened to the heartbeat, he just really, like, for, like, one second, just looked real quick. He's like, oh, yeah, there's his head. He's head down. So that's great. He's definitely head down. He's mostly on my right side, um, and so now, like, I can envision him, like, I can, I know where his butt is, I know where his legs are, and his hands, and his head, and stuff, so that's really cool, and I do still keep getting a lot of kicks and stuff, um, on my right side of my rib cage. so, yeah, I'm glad, I, that's why I figured he was head down, but now I know for sure, and I'm glad, so he also did that swab test for the strep, I think B or something. I don't know. Some strep test. So he did do that. And next appointment is the ultrasound. I told him that I didn't really want to know an approximation of the size or anything like that. And he said that he he won't tell me unless it's like medically necessary or like there's something wrong. So I said that's fine. Um, so I've been getting a lot of stuff done. I washed pretty much everything that I got from the baby shower so like all of his clothes um, toys, stuffed animals, blankets pretty much anything that can be washed I've washed um, I pretty much got most of his like nursery together um, the only thing we still have left to do now is I just have to get a dresser which I found one um, but we're waiting to see if we get any more gift cards for that because it's kind of um, an expense. So the closet and the dresser so I could put the changing table on and that's the only thing I have left in his room. We put together the bassinet and everything like that. And then I need one more changing table for our room because our room is downstairs and I'm not going to be, yeah, he's going to sleep with us at night so I need to have something downstairs. I'm not going to be going up and down. 
Um, so we're feeling more prepared. I got my labor music done. I went to Target yesterday and I bought two nursing sleep bra things, which I'm going to wear all the time because I'm all about comfort. And I did buy two um, nursing tanks as well to take to the hospital and I bought another pair of yoga pants to take to the hospital. And um, I got some like nipple cream, some mm, pads stuff like that for the hospital so now we have to pack our hospital bag which we're probably going to do sometime this week because we are planners and we want to be prepared just in case something happens I don't think he's gonna come that early but still we want to be prepared just in case because if not then I'll be like a mess um and I think that's about all I have to share with you guys like I've just been so busy I don't know how you guys keep up with all of these videos every week. It's like really hard. As you can tell, like I just got out of the shower. My hair is still like kind of damp. Um, so I'm not looking super hot right now. But I just, like right now after this, I have to do all of my thank you cards from the baby shower. And that's probably going to take a long time since they're going to be handwritten. And um, we literally just put together the bassinet before I did this. And yeah, we've just been preparing the nursery, so it's just hard to find the time. I don't know how I'm going to find the time, but I feel like we're almost there. I just have to clean out my car now, clean out my purse, do the hospital bag. And I think that's almost it. Um, oh, and I finally bought a birth ball, so I have that now too. So I feel like we're starting to get there. We're, we're pretty much prepared, which is great because six weeks left, I need to feel a little prepared. Anyway, um, I think that's it. I know I wanted to ask you guys something and now I can't remember. Oh, um, I've been looking at your guys' videos on what you guys packed in your hospital bags. And I've noticed like nobody brings like diaper bag, right? So no diaper bag. I'm guessing because the hospital pre prepares like or has the diapers and wipes and stuff. So I should be okay there, right? Um, so I don't think I need to pack that. I just need to pack for my husband and me and then like baby's outfit and stuff, right? I don't know, I need, I'll re-watch some of the videos to get a better idea um, and make a list so I can actually pack it. And I'll probably end up doing a video on what I'm packing, I think, maybe, if I have time. If not, don't kill me. I should. It's just it's so hard to find time right now. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next week, and I will try really, really super hard to put the footage for the baby shower up. It's just I actually have to edit that one, so it's going to take me a little bit of time. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye guys. See you next week.